Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I have a review video for you. As you can see from the title, I will be reviewing one of my latest purchases, my Hermes Constance Slim Wallet. I recently unboxed this, so I'll make sure I link my unboxing. It is my birthday unboxing video, I'll link it above. I told you guys I wanted to film a separate review video for this little guy because it is very pricey and I wanted to share my thoughts if it's worth buying. I started using it and I wanted to show you also different ways to use it um, just so you can make the most out of it considering how pricey it is. I wanted to show you that it is actually a very versatile piece. So yeah, if you're interested, keep watching. I hope this video is helpful. Let's get straight into it. So this is called the Hermes Constance Slim Wallet, as many of you may know. It is a relatively new style from Hermes and they added a belt loop so you can wear it on your waist. There is also a Constance wallet available from Hermes, which is slightly bigger. The construction is slightly different inside as well. I'll see if I can find a picture and show it to you here. It has two compartments inside, a middle zippy slot and also I think two or three card slots on the front. It is slightly taller. This is a bit more square, a bit more compact. To me, this is more like a card holder. Uh, but let me open it up. So you open it by lifting the uh, middle part. But what do we have on the inside? Another pouch and inside it's just one compartment. It's not divided but there are two slots for cards on the back and on the front. I will try my best to insert pictures although mine is in black so it might be a bit trickier to show. And then as I mentioned there is a little added extra inside. It is a pouch with a zip. I also wanted to show you the zipper is really cute. It has the H at the end so that's a nice little touch <laughs> so i believe the main reason they actually included this is because if you want to store coins use it as an actual wallet uh, when you close it can you guys see there are little gaps on the side so if you put coins they they won't fall off your wallet on the side i really really want to say that these small leather goods are a great entry piece from Hermes, but that would be a like because some of their leather goods and wallets, the most popular ones, are actually very, very pricey. Uh, they're the price of a bag from other brands like Louis. <laughs> so you can find a Louis Vuitton handbag for same if not actually lower price point than this wallet an actual bag right so i really wanted to be able to say that it will be a great way to discover the brand um get closer to their leather pieces and see the craftsmanship and the quality because it is really next level but a huge but even their wallets and small leather goods are very, very pricey. They do have more accessible ones like the Bastier coin purse, but let's be honest, it is a bit boring, doesn't have any hardware. It's not very appealing to me personally. I think everyone will be more drawn to their pieces that have the signature H or Kelly Lock. So let's start with some of the pros and cons. I will start on a positive note. So let me tell you what I love about this wallet. It is compact. It is compact enough to fit in most bags. It fits in a mini rectangle, but it does of course take more space because as you can see, it is, it's not very wide, but it is wider than my favorite slim card holder. <laughs> So I wanted to do a little comparison and show you. This is my favorite card holder. If you are someone who loves wallets, if you if you use cash on daily basis, I'm not sure how practical you will find this. If you're someone who likes wallets in different compartments, I'm not sure if this is the right wallet for you. I think there are other more practical wallets from Hermes. To me, this is more like a card holder. I also wanted to quickly compare another favorite of mine. This is the Kelly Pocket wallet from Hermes and the Constance Slim. So here they are side by side, very similar sizes. This is slimmer as you can see, but it is also a bit wider. It is slightly longer. 
And last another very popular one from Chanel, the classic Chanel coin purse. Pretty much the same width, I would say, but the Hermes Constance Slim wallet is definitely um, taller. I wouldn't use this as a wallet and many of you are probably thinking, well, then why did you buy it? Why did you buy such an expensive wallet? I bought this because it's such a versatile piece and I'm planning to use this as a tiny little bag. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it is... A belt bag actually <laughs> so Hermes added this belt loop at the back so you can wear it as a belt bag so this is one of my all-time favorite belts it is from Hermes and it is reversible so it's gold on one side and then it is a black smooth leather on the other side absolutely love this belt so the Hermes slim wallet will fit most belt sizes I would say it fits the regular belts that they have that are quite thick like the Constance belts. I personally wouldn't wear this with a Constance belt. I think it will be too much. The H belt with the H Constance slim, it will be just too much. Too many H's, right? So I would definitely go with more understated belt. Either the Kelly belt or the belt I have actually think goes really really nicely with this wallet. Also if you've watched some of my recent videos you guys probably saw that I love to wear this with my trench coat in the transitional period, especially in spring and a fall. You can use the belt of your trench coat <laughs> to put through the loop and wear it that way. You don't need a separate belt. Um, and I think it looks really cool. It looks like a part of the outfit. It looks like it's a part of the trench coat, right? So I really, really love that look. So see, I wouldn't have paid that hefty price tag for this wallet to use just as a wallet. So I love that you can also use a conversion kit to use it as a little bag. Check this out. So this is from Samorga. This is a conversion kit from Samorga. And today's video, again, I'm very proud to announce it is sponsored by Samorga. Thank you so much for working with me. You guys know how much I love my Samorga accessories, bag organizers. They're the first, the original company to make back inserts. They are made of felt that is washable and I always, always recommend you get one for your expensive handbags to protect the inside. Also for softer leather bags, they're great to keep the structure. If you're storing your bags this way, they don't lose their shape. Also, they protect your bags from any dust inside, from scratching the lining with your keys, let's say. They have so many different chains, guys, and I have so many as well. <laughs> um, I have long crossbody chains, I have short top handle chains, and they're all so great. The quality, again, is really, really great. So I want to show you this one that I have, and I think this is such a cute way to wear your constant slim wallet as a top handle little bag for, as an evening bag so i bought this conversion kit from samorga they sell these separately these little felt that you can attach this you can use in any wallet i even use this in my chanel wallet that i showed you to convert it as a tiny little bag a crossbody bag you just slide it inside the wallet close it et voila you have the cutest evening bag. Isn't it so adorable, especially with this uh, pearl chain? I'm obsessed with pearls, especially in spring and summer, but I do have another one from Samorga that is plain gold. Uh, you can choose different metals, so definitely, definitely check them out. I will make sure I link some of my favorites down below and I do have a discount code that you can see here on the screen. Right, let me show you another way to use this wallet. All you need is a twilly. You open up the wallet, you tie the ends of your twilly. You can actually even use one of the tiny twillies um, that Hermes has for the mini Kellys. They are much slimmer and shorter. So again, if you want to use it as a top handle bag, you can do that or you can use one of their longer twillies. I even think they have like extra long twillies if you want to wear it crossbody. There is also another chain from Hermes that you can get. It is a long necklace and it is in silver. It is quite pricey, however. I'm definitely curious to try it. However, it is silver and I'm actually 
already eyeing another wallet I definitely want to get another constant slim wallet with silver hardware believe it or not because you guys know I'm a huge fan of yellow gold um, but I definitely want to get like a pastel color in silver hardware so I think I'll definitely check that long necklace from Hermes and see if it works if not I will probably end up getting another uh, chain from Samorga because they are much cheaper much more affordable and they're great quality as well but I want to mention that long necklace in case you're interested and want something from Hermes <laughs> plus it works for building your purchase history right and then last I bought a conversion kit from Etsy it's not perfect guys it's not as perfect as the Samorga chains because they're all measured to fit great inside your bags this one I would have to modify myself because it doesn't fit perfectly but I really wanted to try a leather conversion kit so this one was about um, I think 80 or 90 pounds I think they had different prices depending on the length but yeah this is uh, the strap so I will insert a close up so you can see it is actually a really good match it is almost identical <laughs> to the Hermes leather not the quality not when you touch it you can definitely feel it's cheaper <laughs> the leather is not great quality I don't even know if this is real leather. I'm hoping it's real leather um, But it does it does feel quite plasticky and cheap so you can adjust the length of the strap So you select the length and then you just slide this similarly to the Samorga one you just slide it inside but can you guys see what I mean by it, It's just not great. It sticks out. It's not measured correctly, so it's too high can you guys see? So I can't close the wallet. I can of course force it and like push it. It will close. But I'm sure the leather insert will just um, leave indents on the top of the wallet where I pushed it. So I think what I would do is actually cut this shorter. Uh, so I'll make it much shorter so it fits better inside. Um, but other than that, I do like it. I like that it's leather. Um, very similar to the actual Constance bags. Uh, the Constance bags, you can see the strap is leather, so that's why I wanted to try out a leather strap. Um, and I think it looks really cute as a tiny little mini bag for an evening out. I think it works. Another pro to me is that this comes in a variety of different colors, all the classic Hermes colors, even the seasonal ones. So if you like to be matchy matchy with your bags, if you want to match your bags to your wallets, or if you use this as a belt bag and you want to match it uh, to another Hermes bag that you have, it's great that you have the options. It exists in different leathers, so you have Epsom, which I recommend. Mine is in Epsom. It is very hard wearing. It is the best you can opt for, in my opinion. But there is also exotics, alligator, ostrich, lizard. Um, they are quite pricey though, um, so bear that in mind. Um, also, you can choose different hardware. So you have gold, my one is in yellow gold hardware. I still haven't removed the stickers. The wallets also exist in uh, palladium hardware and rose gold as well. And I think my last pro for the Constance Slim Wallet is the resale price. These definitely retain their resale value. And I've seen some, depending on the color combo you get, some of them resell for even double but you can also find something closer to retail so you won't have to pay extortion prices like double triple the prices like the quarter bags let's say let's quickly talk about the cons first the price I mean it is very pricey for a wallet as I mentioned in the beginning of this video you can buy an actual bag this is even more expensive than the Hermes Evelyn bag Another huge con to me is the hardware, it is actually the H is quite large <laughs> so expect it to scratch quite easily. I know the H belt, the Constance bags, uh, they do scratch quite a lot, that's why I haven't removed my sticker yet but I will, don't worry, I will remove it. <laughs> um, if you leave it too long it, it can oxidize and actually damage um, your hardware so I would always recommend you remove the stickers so I will I will remove it sooner or, let, or later but 
the H will definitely scratch plus it is also a fingerprint magnet every time you open and close there will be fingerprints <laughs> so you would have to constantly wipe it if you want it to look, look pristine and like shiny these unfortunately are very hard to get from Hermes I have waited for mine for quite some time, I've asked around, I went to Paris, I asked in Paris, I told you my little story um, in my birthday unboxing video, how they always say, sorry madam, we don't have it. Um, so yeah, it's every time you go and ask, they'll probably say, no, we don't have it. They're so rare, I honestly don't see them anywhere in London, I haven't seen a single person wearing this. Even in the posh areas where you can see pretty much everything. The most rarest unicorn pieces, bags, jewellery, cars, supercars. These are like some mythical creatures that, you know, they exist but you can't really see them on anybody. <laughs> it's like so weird, especially here in London. It's weird that I haven't seen anyone wear one of these. Sometimes they are available to purchase online, but I've personally never had luck. I have seen them appear online, but as soon as I add them to basket, it shows it's you can't buy it, like you can't check out. These are like little unicorns, I'm telling you. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all. I really hope you enjoyed today's review of the Constance Slim wallet. Let me know your thoughts. I personally think it is worth buying only if you are going to use it as a belt bag or a bag. Of course, it is pricey, but honestly, the craftsmanship and the quality is impeccable. So that's why I think it's worth um, buying this and also because I am planning to use it as a mini bag. On the other hand, if you are planning to only use it as a wallet, I don't think it is the most practical wallet, um, so I would say probably skip this and buy something cheaper. But yeah, so far I've been loving this. I already want to get another one, as I mentioned, so yeah. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts again, and I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.